Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Detroit Become Human. On the screen right here, I'm going to be linking a playlist of all the previous episodes of this Let's Play so you guys can catch up if you're not caught up already, because we're just going to dive right in. The last chapter we played was with Marcus. We learned about him and his relationship with Carl, and Carl's son, Leo, who I do not like very much. And we're just going to keep going, you guys, because this has been very intense. I'm super excited, and I'm ready to see what happens next. So without much further ado, let's continue playing Detroit Become Human. Back with Mr. Connor. No androids or pets allowed. Eesh. Okay, we're looking for... Lieutenant Anderson. Are you Lieutenant? Probably not. You're a bartender. Nope. 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 We get it. You hate me. Thing. What's yours? No. Nope. drink. Ooh, 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 ooh. Still not it. All right. Like I said, I hate basically everyone in this game. What about you guys? No, I can't see his face. Oh. Still no. Get out of here. Mind your business. 31% unemployment rate. When will it stop? <laughs> what does that say? Ban androids. Uh, have I checked everyone here? Uh, did I check you? Yep. Oh no, I don't think I did, but you know I have. Literally the wall, chill. Ooh, I did not check you, sir. Gotcha. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? The fifth. You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? <laughs> Never mind. Come on, dude. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. I don't know. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. Hmm, that's what more actually. Say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. 
Okay, well good, at least our relationship went up. Because we had a little dip of red. Did you say homicide? Yes, I did. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> Got some. You wait here. Metal. Wait. Uh, My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up. And you wait here. Yeah, we're gonna follow him. I mean, it's our job. We can be as feisty as you want. Some Josh are Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not. Uh, I guess we're just following. Look at these little things. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Yeah. What part I'm is with him? Car, didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even uh, Hank, we were no starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant oh, hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's Oops, sorry. Oh, Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. Oh my goodness. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, oh, stayed easy. It wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited Jeez. till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Three weeks? Gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? This nope. is giving me seven vibes. The landlord vibes. said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll Phew. be outside if you need me. All right, let's start investigating. There is ten pieces of evidence that we gotta find. I believe we can get them all. Dude, I told you, everyone is on drugs. Everyone. Okay, let's probably look at the body, right? Or not? Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Hmm. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? That makes sense. A little disgusting. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Said like around three weeks, almost 19 days. I would Can I check so. the body now? We're taking yes. samples for analysis. Okay, so Hank said something about this writing. Cyber Life Sands. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. 
Oops. Twenty eight stab wounds. That's joyful. Well, aggravated assault, so I'm assuming he wasn't the best person. Yep. He loved doing his drugs. And there he is, Carlos Ortiz. So that's where the stabbing started. Alright, let's go to the kitchen. Really love this feature, look at this. So awesome. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. maybe I shouldn't have. Ooh, never mind. We're good. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Julius Caesar is shaking. Uh, Chris, okay, I want three out of analysis time. on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Four out of time. Yep, he definitely liked to party, like King said. from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Okay. Traces of Therium. No idea what that is. Okay, there definitely was a struggle. Oh. oh they were fighting, fighting. Oh, okay. So maybe Carlos was beating his android, and the android just defended itself. 9 out of 10, so I'm missing something. Uh, there's something there. Oh. Did he go out the window? No, probably not. Android sex officially better. We don't got time. 
do not have time to read. Okay, but where is my last piece of evidence? I'm assuming it would be this, but... say RA9 oh what is going on here okay yay I got my evidence okay Next, got a report to Lieutenant Anderson. Okay, where are you at, homie? Oops, 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 oops. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. signs of a struggle the question is what exactly happened here I think the victim attacked the Android with the bat with the bat that lines up with the evidence go on okay then the, the Android, Android stabbed the victim so the android was trying to defend itself, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I think. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. This is crazy. And he tried to get away from the android. Sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. Look at all those flies. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. Mm -hmm. It's the fluid that powers Android's bio components. It evaporates okay, so that's what after was a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Oh, I bet Correct. I can. Yeah. Time to find this blue. Oops, yep, there it is. Okay, let's follow this. Okay, so it goes all the way over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't go outside then. Okay, so he went back over here. That chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. Yeah. I know what I'm doing, bro. Can you see Ethereum? I can see Ethereum.
Well, he is still here. Oh, this is so creepy. Gotcha. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? <sighs> it's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Sorry, man. Come on! Doing my job. That's what I have to do. It just leaves. <sighs> Pretty uneasy about that. But yeah, you guys, that's going to conclude this episode of Detroit Become Human. If you like this video, don't forget to click the little like button. If you want to continue watching the Let's Play and see more uploads of this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, you can click the little bell notification. You'll be notified when I upload new content and you'll be the first to know about that. I'm really, really hooked, you guys. This is so, so interesting. And if you want to see more of it, you know where to be. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you next time.